Good morning, guys. So I'm in such a rush this morning. What is new? I swear whenever I start a new vlog, I'm always in a rush, but this morning I actually really am in a rush. So this morning, well, today we have such a busy day coming up. I'm mentally, physically, everything not prepared for this day, but we're just gonna push through. This morning we are heading down south, and the main reason we are heading down south this morning is because I am giving the giveaway prizes to the giveaway winner, Joyce. So we're heading down there today to do that, um, and this is gonna be on the way to London where I need to pick up a few things, and then we are staying in Heathrow tonight to fly to Venice tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to Venice tomorrow. Am I organized? No, when am I ever? Um, I literally finished packing about five minutes ago and the driver's been waiting outside for half an hour. Why is the light so blue? Maybe it's the... Is it blue in here? I'm really confused as to why that is so blue. I'm wearing the puffer jacket from my Zara haul, which I'm just obsessed with. I've not taken it off since I bought it. I am so in love with this jacket. Oh, that's better. It's not blue anymore. Why was it so blue before? I'm so confused. Joyce doesn't know that I'm going down to give the giveaway stuff to her, um, which will be cute. I hope she doesn't mind me filming her. If she does mind, then obviously I won't. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to vlog that and just show you guys me giving her the stuff because it's such a nice thing and she's so excited to get all the stuff today. Um, but yeah, she doesn't know that I'm coming. So I am going to head down there now. Why was the footage before this so blue? I actually don't understand that. You were always in it for the long ride. We've been in the car for quite some time now, um, but obviously it's right down south where we're going, so um, I'm used to doing this journey. Obviously I live down south, so I'm used to it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Um, obviously I'm hoping she's going to be in. <laughs> no, I know she's in. Um, I just don't think she knows that I'm coming with all of the stuff. The boot is literally so full all of the giveaway stuff. I'm really looking forward to meeting Joyce. We've spoken a little bit over Instagram DM um, and she's so sweet and so lovely. Um, so I'm really excited to meet her, I can't wait. Right guys, we're here at Joyce's house. I don't know if I should film because I'm scared that she might not want the address in it. I don't know, maybe we'll film. I don't know, we're gonna film now and if she wants me to get rid of it, we'll get rid of it. But I'm so excited, I can't wait to give her all the stuff. We're gonna unload it all now. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I wonder if she's out. That'd be fun. Oh, it's straight. <laughs> My camera is not very good. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> you okay? I'm good, thank you. Hello. 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 You okay? I'm so nice good. Give us what I was not oh. expecting you to meet. Yeah, I know. God, you know what? I'll give it to Give it to yeah, her. Drop by. Welcome Why to my not? seats. Oh my god! So nice to see you in person. How have you been? Good, thanks. So I'm just with Joyce at the moment. We've just given all the stuff. Are you happy? I'm chuffed. <laughs> Can I get her in it? Yeah, oh, like oh, this is Sarai's. This is Joyce's little <laughs> tiny baby. She's three months old. This is Samson, Joyce's fella. So yeah, all the stuff yeah, is here. Really she's going to keep all the stuff, mm -hmm. guys. We've had the discussion. Yes. But she's not going to get to spoil herself like this again. So, you know, you've got to keep the stuff and this just enjoy it. No, Walk around and just... Did you see that meme that everyone was sending around saying this is going to be weird on the money making way? Yeah. It's like head to toe and Louis Vuitton. I'm about to like recreate or I need to book a little staycation yes. so I can take my Lay it all out somewhere. on the sofa and just yeah. literally get your pick and, and do it 100%. We have just left Joyce's house. It was so nice. It went so much better than I expected. Like I thought that maybe she wouldn't know what to say or like she might not even be in. I didn't even know what to expect but it literally went so perfectly and she was so happy and just such a sweet lady and her and her husband are literally just such a beautiful couple and their little family and the baby everything what a dream and honestly she's just had a baby three months ago she's snapped back she looks unbelievable um so yeah it was so nice to see her in person and meet her and give her all the gifts she was so over the moon um and she said she's gonna keep them all which i'm really happy about because i just wanted to spoil herself um i just said to her like when will you get the chance to spoil yourself like this ever again you just literally won't <laughs> no i'm gonna miss you baby boy <laughs> I'm really sad. I wouldn't come too close. I've literally just woken up and I've not brushed my teeth yet, so. <laughs> Tommy is now leaving for London for a week. His fight is on Friday. So, yeah. Very exciting. Um, I'm not allowed to go. I don't think I've spoken about this on my YouTube yet, but basically I'm not allowed to go um, and watch the fight because he now has to go and form his own social bubble um, somewhere in London. Like, it's all a bit confusing, but basically I am fully watching this fight on the sofa by myself at home. Probably gonna cry because I 
last time we had a fight, like I literally hated it so much because even though it's such a great thing at the same time, it's like you feel physically sick. We have decided that Ellie Belly will be going with him. As you can see, he is sat on. I packed a suitcase for him last night, not Tommy's, Ellie's. Well, Tommy's and Ellie's. Taking my suitcase. Oh! Slept on the goddamn Louis Vuitton! Say that again. What? I slept on a goddamn Louis Vuitton! I slept on the buckle I've got some tidying up to do today. <laughs> So you're going down now and that's it? Yeah, put that in there. <gasps> I must say, you look dashing, darling. And you were going to take the bin bags down for me this morning and now I'm assuming that you're not. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's really not helpful. You pro you did actually throw Do you want me to take them? You did actually throw in your mum's life you were going to take them down. Well, you're not going to be able to now. Look at the lift, it's completely oh, full. I'll have to true. do it. Thanks right. a lot. Okay. Useless. Babe, do you Brittany? Brittany. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm going to fight now, so I'll see you later. Oh, right. I want to come. I got to go, Baba Gunn. So I don't want you to go. Home. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go, babe. No. Just getting the lift now, mate. Right. Bye. Love Bye. You. Love you. See you in a bit. Turn the camera off I my bag in the bag. It's so early in the morning, by the way, hence why I look like this and sound like this. It's crack of dawn and I literally just got up to say goodbye to him. But I'm going to stay up now because I've got loads of work to do today. I've got loads of things to do. I've just got a parcel come through and whenever they're from DPD, then normally it's normally something quite exciting. Um, it's normally something that like I've ordered, but I've been ordering quite a lot recently, so I don't know what this is. If it is one thing, then I'm not going to show you, but if it is, I, oh my goodness, if it is something else, then I'll show you. No, no, this is a, this is a really exciting one. Actually, let's do a little haul. I, I kind of did spoil myself. I've been spoiling myself quite a lot the last week. I'm just going to be honest with you, I have. Um, I have a personal shopper at Selfridges who sort of like helps me out and picks some stuff out for me. She said that I needed these trainers. I've never actually heard of them before, but they're like a new Nike trainer. They're called Sakai. Sakai, I think they're called. These are the trainers. Now, <laughs> I don't know, like they're not like the most beautiful trainers, but these are like the next big trainer apparently. Look at my hair. I literally look like, honestly, stick of the dump. Like I am so sorry for how I look, but it is like eight o'clock in the morning right now. Um, but yeah, these trainers are apparently like the next big thing and she was like, you won't be able to get hold of these trainers. But I bought um, a few essentials, not essentials, as in like the brand essentials, fear of God. Um, I don't really own much from this brand, but I saw Justin Bieber wearing this like knitted hoodie. Well, it wasn't a hoodie, it was like a knitted jumper from essentials. And I was like, I need to get myself some essential stuff because if Justin Bieber has it, then obviously we need to get on the hype. So the first essentials piece I bought was this half zip hoodie. Um, in this really nice corner of like, it's like a duck egg grey, I'd say. Look at those descriptions at eight o'clock in the morning. Like, who do I think I am, please? Then the second bit is this kind of loose, wide neck, turtleneck jumper. Um, I know this stuff doesn't look very exciting, but it is more just like lounging about stuff. Like, I literally, as you guys know, just live in tracksuits and hoodies. Like, I don't really wear anything else. This, this one is so nice. This one I'm so excited about. Um, I got this Essentials shirt. So it looks like this from the front, it's super oversized, and then on the back it says Essentials Fear of God underneath. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really, really excited to wear this. Like this with like black leggings, trainers, a little handbag. Yes. Then I just have this long sleeved, it's kind of a little bit high neck, um, like loose t-shirt. It says essentials on the front. It's in that same kind of just normal grey wash. That same like turtleneck jumper but in a different shade it's more like a khaki green when you buy this at cost um it's not actually that bad i think the trainers and all this stuff came to like 600 pounds which if you buy this at like resale price you'd probably get like one item for 600 pounds um so that's kind of why i did it and like stocked up we have up the trainer game recently i actually bought my first pair of jordans um i didn't own a pair of jordans until these these ones um just because i've mentioned it so many times but i really like to wear trainers that have like a platform and obviously jordans are just so low to the ground like i mean that's literally like a slither 
let alone a platform. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try my first pair, and I picked these up and I've not laced them yet, but I did try these on with a pair of trackies and I am actually really, really excited to wear them. I actually also picked up two pairs of Balenciaga tracks as well a couple of days ago because um, I live in my triple S, these ones back here, but I just, um, they're not, they're not that in anymore, the triple S. So yeah, I picked up some tracks and I'm sorry. These trainers, <laughs> look at them. They are stunning. And I may have actually bought a matching um, pink Balenciaga bag that's coming in a couple of days. Hey, I'm sorry this vlog has been so sporadic. I just kind of wanted to vlog my week, but in lockdown, there's just really nothing to do. Like, I'm sure you guys can all relate. Um, I hope your lockdowns are going okay. Mine's mine, it's just so boring. I saw on here that Madison Sarah bubbled, like did a new social bubble with Rachel and um, Hannah Renee. And I didn't actually know about that. So I did a little bit of reading on it and like basically to help you people like with lockdown obviously because of like mental health and stuff I think they've allowed this new rule of like bubbling together so I have bubbled with my friend Steph who lives by herself well she actually lives with a friend but that friend's not living with her at the moment she's gone away I don't mind staying here by myself I just don't like it's a big apartment I just don't like being alone so we're following the rules completely like we're not breaking any rules I've read about it loads I've checked so don't come for me please Tommy's fight is in two days I'm really really missing him now um it's just like boring without him like we do everything together and i didn't never wanted to sound like that needy girlfriend because i'm not a needy girlfriend but like living with tommy is like living with my best friend and like you, i do everything with him he's had his covid tests and stuff in london so i know he's definitely fighting now which is obviously like really good like i was worried that maybe something would happen where like someone in his camp would test positive but everything's going ahead so i'm really really happy about that so yeah, I'm just going to crack on with my day now. I'm going like, to quickly show you me getting ready. I've got something really, really exciting. To, exciting? Oh my God. I've got something really exciting to show you guys with my hair. I have been keeping a little secret from you all and I've been working on something super, super exciting. This has been like my main project for the last few months. I've been working on it so, so hard with Beauty Works, which might give it away a little bit. We have actually decided to bring out a Curl Kit Volume 2. Now, I'm just about to film my Instagram stories for this to announce it. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. But I thought whilst I'm doing that, I might as well show you on my YouTube as well. I'll give you a little sneak peek as to the new curling wand. Here we have the wand for my Curl Kit Volume 2. I'm so happy that I can finally talk about this. Like, we've been working on this for ages now. I always say this, but these things do take a long time. This is my baby. I am honestly, you wait, you wait until you see the curls that this creates. I thought I'd show you the difference in one size. So as you can see, quite significantly different. This is a lot thicker and I actually put up a teaser video on my TikTok. Why don't I literally, I don't even know why I started TikTok. I never use it anymore, but I did put a video up on my TikTok, which I'll put here um, where we had used the wand. We were all asking how we created them. So this wand is stunning. I'm so, 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 so excited about it. In the Curl Kit Volume 2, you obviously get your 10 clips like you do in the first one. You get a heat protecting mat, a heat protecting glove, and you also get a pintail comb this time. I actually do love brushing out my curls with a pintail comb. I'll show you how I do that at the end. It just creates a really, really <coughs> smooth curl. This is a tip I actually learned from Emily Rose Monk who doesn't like me sharing her tips, but I've shared a tip at me, don't come at me. And obviously you have your bristle brush, which it comes with as well, which in mine is full of hair because I was using it this morning. But um, guys, I'm just so excited about this curl kit. I think this has actually overtaken my love for the first one, which is really, really saying something. But I always love my curls from the curl kit one, two days later the most and you get two day later curls with this curl kit on the first day does that even make sense i was talking about it with my friend ellen yesterday i was like you get the dream curls straight away with this curl kit whereas with my first curl kit i love the curls straight away but i love them even more two days later so you'll see what i mean with this curl kit i, I can't go on my own you came so i wouldn't have to go it alone you took the long road so you could show me home fell in love better than i've ever known so now i know that i can say you are exalted above everything on the earth that I've seen Cause I know that my dreams come alive And the love that you promised to me I'll keep singing your praise And you know I believe Even when I'm down in the darkness You call my name out loud Used to think I had to do it on my own But I'm never alone now Even when I'm down in the darkness You call my name out loud Used to think I had to do it on my own But I'm never alone now is all over the place okay i'm sorry i will do better i honestly know this vlog has been all over the place but i just really wanted to get a video out for you guys because i feel like i well i've uploaded a video a week ago and i just i really would love to be that person that uploads twice a week but 
doesn't really happen for me, but that's mainly because of my Wi-Fi and I'm not using that as an excuse. Um, I have just had another delivery of some more goods and I feel like I might as well show you because if I share my spending, a problem shared is a problem halved and I feel like if I share my spending habits with you at the moment, then maybe that might half my issue. I don't think it will. Um, but you know how I was speaking about how I was picking up a pink bag to match my Balenciagas. Well, it came and it's safe to say I'm quite frankly obsessed. It's absolutely adorable. It's the same as my black one. It's not gonna go with every outfit, but to go with my trainers whenever I wear my trainers, um, I'll definitely pop this bag with them because I just think it's so cute. I also then picked up this hat. This is a brand new um, cap from Balenciaga. It's in like a faux leather. I wore a cap the other day on my Instagram. You guys said you actually really liked it, so I picked up another one. This is a company that I've actually only heard about recently. It's been around for years. It's called Chrome Hearts and I saw Kylie Jenna and Travis Scott were wearing it loads recently and they were like dressing stormy in it and stuff and it's just really sick so I picked up these put this pair of jeans from Chrome Hearts very different for me but look I'm just trying to be cool these days yeah I'm just trying to make myself look edgy and cool I mean they're literally on my cooker I've had a huge delivery actually today of loads of different stuff I bought loads more Fiji waters because they're meant to be good for eczema but actually my eczema is more fed up than it's ever been so I don't know if that's just a coincidence that I'm drinking this Fiji water and my ex was so flared up. I forgot to show you the end result of my hair, hence why I put that little clip in at the end. I'm really sorry. Um, obviously my hair is not in that state anymore. I feel like my head is all over the place at the moment, like because of Tommy's fight and stuff, I just feel like I can't relax until it's over. But yeah, I'm just gonna tidy up the apartment a little bit tonight and Steph's currently in the lift trying to get an Instagram picture because the show must go on, even though we're, we are in lockdown, you know, Steph and I still have to get our job done. Um, so she's in the lift and basically when you're in the lift, you basically get just trapped in there and now I have to let her out. So I'm just waiting for her to go help. Tommy's fight is tomorrow. So send him lots of good luck and well wishes. And yeah, I'm really excited to watch it. I will literally be here with Steph watching it on TV, um, which is, really not where I'd love to be, but I'd love to be there, obviously, with him supporting him, but it is what it is, and, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. Hopefully, the next fight he has, I will be able to go and watch. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully, I will see you all in my next one. Bye!